we are back for a new video and today we're going to learn how to set up automate woo on your woocommerce store if this is your first time here make sure to click that like hit that subscribe if you enjoy this video all the links in this video can be found in the description box below all right let's get to it so um, basically i would sum up automate woo is just doing a lot of the marketing automation for you based on workflows so um before we fully jump into it, here's the plugin page, and I already downloaded um, or purchased the plugin and downloaded a zip file, and I'm just going to go through um, some of the workflows and yeah, follow along. So I have this um, this site, Charlie's Coffee, and we, we sell coffee. Um, this is a fake site that I just used for these tutorials, but bear with me. So I want to send uh, email um, if someone just buys Charlie's Coffee. I have you know these top 10 tips to get the most out of Charlie's Coffee. And I want to send these to customers you know, um, seven days after they purchased to make sure that they're brewing their coffee the best way. So um, here's just an example of a custom workflow. I'm also gonna go over a couple more. So I'm gonna go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna add a new plugin. I'm gonna upload this automate woo and I'm gonna click install now. I'm gonna activate the plugin. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the automate woo dashboard and as you can see, there's a lot of like cool things about it. Just pretty advanced plugin. WooCommerce actually purchased the plugin from the original plugin authors. But anyways, I'm gonna go to these workflows and I'm just gonna get started with a workflow. So um, they have these preset workflows where, um, you know, if I quickly just wanted to set up an abandoned cart email to send 12 hours after someone um, abandoned their cart on my site, I could easily do that with um, one of their preset workflows and I could easily just set this up, you know, set it to active and click save. Cool. Right, and but if I wanted to go back to that workflow where I wanted to just send it for Charlie's Coffee, here's how I do something like that. So I'm gonna say, um, send welcome email to coffee customers. So the trigger is gonna be like, look at all these triggers that they have. They have like, these triggers, these rules, these actions, right? Look at all these triggers they have. Like, whoa, there's like so much. You know, you can do here with these triggers. So I'm just gonna go to order, um, order created, okay. And I wanna do a rule. My rule is gonna be um, order items includes coffee, right? And I can add maybe more rules, maybe I have different um, coffees, maybe I have a coffee subscription product, maybe I have a coffee grinder. Um, and I'm not gonna do another one, but you can also do, um, you know, maybe the customer uses it as a coupon for this rule. Maybe they um, spent more than $50 on the coffee. So I wanna send them a specific coupon, right? There's so many ways you can take it, but for now I'm just gonna do, they just bought the coffee because I'm gonna send them the top 10 tips for brewing Charlie's coffee. So um, the action I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send an email, right? But there's also a lot of other actions. Look at all these actions. I can add a tag for that customer. I can update a custom field. I can add a note, change the status. There's so many different things. And if you're using subscriptions, there's also a bunch of stuff as well. So I am gonna send them an email and you have the option to do like a plain text email raw HTML, HTML email. But for now, I'm just gonna do just a regular WooCommerce email template, which of course can be found going to your settings and looking at emails and scrolling down and seeing what this looks like. Obviously, I would hope this might be a little bit uh, prettier, but whatever. So I'm gonna send them an email and they have these easy things right here. Okay, so I'm going to go to customer email and there we go and the email subject is gonna be like 
get the most out of your coffee. And um, the heading, I don't even know if we need to put anything there. I'm just gonna repeat this for now. And um, I could add like an emoji here or something. And the template is going to be, so right now I have like the WooCommerce default, but I also could do none for more of like a, you know, it's not gonna use a template, it's just gonna be plain text. Um, and I'm gonna say, hey, and I could do customer first name, right? I'm gonna fall back there. So you can do these like fallbacks, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna say, hey, customer first name, get the most out of your coffee with these 10 tips, read more here. And you know, I might link to something in my blog about the coffee. You guys know what I'm saying. This is not the same, this is about coffee dates or something like that. Um, but I could add this, this link right here you know, or I could, you know, whatever, hypertext this link. And they, all, they, they also do allow buttons. You can look at their docs as well. Um, and, you know, your friends at Charlie's Coffee. And I think they have something down here where I could just do store name. They have all these variables over here. And cool, I'm just gonna save this real quick. And before I, um, this is active right now. Okay, but I can also delay this, right? Because I said I want to delay this like seven days or 10 days. So I'm just gonna do 10 days, which is kind of cool. And I'm gonna click save. And I can even also add another action. So I can send them an email. And then based on this, I could also do another action to build off it. So you can just keep repeating these actions if you want to, and you can kind of build like all these workflows. like. Um, really cool and um, yeah there's, there's a lot of ways you can take this so um, I'm just gonna do this test email for now and then I'm gonna show you so if I go back to my workflows so I have the send welcome email just to people that purchase coffee customers and then my abandoned cart email I also can do um, like an expiry reminder so if you use like WooCommerce subscriptions you want to let your customers know that they're credit cards about to expire, this can do that. So I wanna let them know seven days before, and they have these presets, which are kinda of cool. And I wanna put this as active. And see, look, they, they even include the emoji, <laughs> an emoji in, uh, in the preset, which is kinda of cool. And basically it just makes it really easy, right? They link this to your account, you have these presets, and you know maybe you um, have an, a specific um, URL that you want to you put here, but you can update that based on the variables over here. And um, I'm just gonna save this. So I'm gonna confirm this, and this is kind of cool. It's uh, we want it to run immediately, so right when it finds out that um, you know the customer's card is about to expire. Let them know seven days before it expires, so they have enough time. Um, you know, you could also send one three days before if they still haven't updated it. There's just a lot of things that you can build off this. And one other thing I want to go over before um, I keep rambling on about this is like they have, um, you know, integrations with Mailchimp, Campaign Monitor, Active Campaign. You can also do SMS with Twilio. So if I wanted to connect my Mailchimp um, account. I'm just gonna go to Mailchimp, I'm gonna add this in here. So if I connect this Mailchimp account and now I go back to workflows, and let's say I wanna do, um, I wanna add customer to list, or add, <laughs> add new customer to email list in Mailchimp. You guys get the picture. So I'm gonna say order created Rule, select rule, customer. I think it's under actions. So rules are optional, but I can go down to here. I wanna add this contact to a list, right? So I'm gonna add this contact to a list and I have my newsletter list and the contact email is I wanna be at customer email. And I can require the double opt-in if I want to. And then I can get the customer's first name right here.
and I can also um, I can also take you know the customers like shipping first name, shipping last name as well if those are different. But for for now, I'm just take the customer's first name, customer's last name, and I'm gonna add them to a list. Kind of cool. Um, and I'm gonna click save. I don't want to do a rule. Okay, when an order is created, add the customer to a list, and um, I also could then um, add another workflow to add tag to. Um, add tag if subscription order. So trigger subscription created. I'm gonna do a copy. If a subscription is created and subscription status is active I don't even know if I need that rule, but um, you know I can add them to. I can update contact tags, and I can put you know con customer email, and I can add a tag such as like subscriber or um, coffee subscription. Maybe I just want to do subscription coffee subscription. I could have the option to also remove all their tags if I want to like. Um, clear out those tags, which is kind of cool. And it's it's there's just like so much things you can take it with Automate Woo. Um, so I'm gonna click save. And that's basically it. If you guys are set up like these abandoned cart emails, or you want to look at more of these settings, you can find it in the docs or leave a comment um, in the comments below on this YouTube video. But you also can. Um, you know, have all these like unsubscribes, opt-ins, opt-outs. You can, you know, see all the carts, right? You can track customers that go through your cart and don't check out, or they do. Um, clear and active carts. There's just so many ways you can see it. You can see the queue of emails that are about to be set up. And overall, it's just a really cool thing, um, plugin to use. So with that, highly recommend setting up automate woo if you want to get a powerful um, marketing automation for your woocommerce store and overall um, you might have seen my woocommerce follow-ups email video but basically with woocommerce buying automate woo um, i think those two products are going to merge soon but it's probably too much information all right that's it for today guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give me a thumbs up click that subscribe link and all the links in this video can be found in the description box below have a great rest of your day and peace out. See ya.